It's time now for a look at the latest in local sports and sports. The big game Friday night at the Bow lived up to the hype as the game between Wayne County and Locust Grove went scoreless through five innings, then into the top of the six, or the bottom of the six, I should say, four times and hits this line drive home run off Nolan Chris to give the Jackets a one nothing lead. <laughs> And again, one nothing lead for Wayne County at that point. Locust Grove then pulls their starter, Nolan Chris, after the home run. Wayne County adds two more runs in the inning to go up 3 0, four times, and picks up the win on the mine. Going the sixth and seventh, finishing strong, striking out four of the seven batters he faced. JT Crosby got the start for Wayne County, pitched extremely well, shut out the Wildcats. Through five innings, allowed only two hits in the game. Line scores read Wayne County three runs, just four hits, but committed no errors. Defensively played well. David Mosley threw a runner out, attempting to steal. Cooper Martin with a nice barehanded play at shortstop. Again, Wayne County, no errors. Locust Grove, no runs, just three hits, and they committed four errors in the game. After the win, we talked with head coach Justin McDonald. Again, that, that was a goal we coming in, trying to trying to uh – break his timing and break his momentum on the mound. And our guys did a great job, and, and he got a little wild there at times. So, uh, like I said, I'm just proud of the overall effort, guys coming in, trying to, especially in a game like this where the, where the way it was built up last year, being able to come in here and keep your composure and, and play the game. And, and that goes back to just being a year older of experience with these guys and coming in and finding a way to win. And little things get overlooked. The base running by Collage yeah. late in the yes. game, the big hit by Gant, the uh, throw out by Mosley. Oh, yeah. Crosby pitching out of tough situations, uh, no errors at all. Oh, yeah. That was great. That's the first time we've seen that yeah. in five games. It was nice to see that zero in the air yeah. column. Yeah, another one you, you mentioned two or three, but that, that play Cooper made with runners on base. Bear right, bear hit throw, right. Great team. throw, right. Like I said, that, that's what, that, we got them playing with confidence now. And, again, I, I, I say I'm a small part. we got great players, and they know how to play the game. we just got to manage them and, and, and build them up and put them in a situation to be successful. And, and that's what we try to do And tonight, I think. They did a great job of taking advantage of the situation when they had them and, and find a way to put a few runs up and keeping it close with, with a, I'm talking about that's probably the best you're going to see in high school baseball on the mound on an opposing team. So, I said, I'm just proud of our guys coming in, not getting. And I told people they were coming. I told them, I said, look, this is the next Adam Wainwright. This is the next yeah. Dustin McGowan. This is a guy who's projected to go to that yeah. level. So, if you want to see a quality guy, yeah. here's your yeah. chance. And we've had, we've been lucky, we've played against. Guys playing now in the major leagues. I've yeah. about 35 years, seen quite a yeah. few, but that's the kind of kid he was yeah. tonight. And I think they got their money's worth when they yeah. came and watched. He, he was pretty. He was. Yeah. He was as good as advertised. That's right. That's one of the names you'll put in your back pocket and and, and keep an eye on. But like I said, our kids responded to him and and, and found a way to win. And, and I'm just I'm just proud of them. And again, appreciate everybody coming out. And again, I want to encourage them to make it like this every night, not just wait till we we have a game like this coming in and. I think we're on the road all next week. Yeah, so we get a, it get starts a, on Tuesday at Camden, right? Is it Tuesday or Monday? Monday? It's at Monday. Monday at Camden. Yeah, that, yeah we, we're part of that little five game stretch we talked about. It's going to be tough, but I guess step one's over, and then we'll go move to Camden, a real good Camden team, and, and then head up to Atlanta to the tournament this weekend and, and see what happens. So, uh, like I said again, proud of our kids, proud of the fans, proud of our coaching staff. They've done an outstanding job. And again, those comments, Coach Justin McDonald, Wayne County in action today at Camden. Game time, 6 o'clock. Our pregame gets underway at 5.50 today here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. JV baseball team plays on Wednesday this week there at Ware County on the 28th. Arthur Williams, 6th and 7th graders in the doubleheader Saturday. Jeff Davis, they split the doubleheader, won the first game 10-4, lost the second game 8-4. Middle school soccer, Arthur Williams girls defeated Long County Middle School 2-zip. Two goals scored by Valerie Askew. Match was played at Long County. High school track team capped. Or got their season underway last Thursday over against Camden County. Here are some of the results. First place finishers from the meet. And Isaiah Bugs won the shot put in the discus. Trevin Wallace and Trick Patterson tied for first in the high jump. Hannah Wise won the 3,200 meter run. Thelmore Smith, who owns the school record in 300 meter hurdles, won the 300 hurdles as well as the 110 hurdles. And the boys' 4 by 100 meter relay team took first place. MJ Fuller, Thelmore Smith, Trevin Wallace and Cavante Nix. The next track will be set for Thursday of this week. They'll be at Liberty County High School. The meet gets underway at 3.45 p.m. Varsity tennis team is back in action today. They host Frederica at 4 p.m. The high school tennis courts and the varsity soccer team is on the road tomorrow at Groves High School. Match times 5 and 7. Some recreation all-star basketball teams in action this weekend. Eight and under team finished runner-up in Douglas. They defeated Camden 28-25 but got blown up by Ware 48-14 in the finals. 
10 and under team. Also runner-up defeated Liberty 31-25, but lost to Douglas in the title game 31-21. 14 under team beat Camden 51-49, then lost to Liberty 61-51. 17 under team beat Liberty 51-47. Still time to sign up for this Saturday's Winter Blues Golf Tournament at the Pine Forest Country Club. Three-person, 18-hole scramble, nine-hole best ball, 27-hole one-day tournament. Again, set for this Saturday, 8.30 a.m. shotgun start, $300 per team. Lunch will be provided. Again, in the best ball format, one mulligan per player. If you're interested in signing up, call the Pro Shop this week at 427-6505. Again, we've got Wayne County baseball this afternoon. Wayne County and Camden at Camden. Game time, 6 o'clock. Pre-game 5.50 here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5.